This story comes to us from azfamily.com. Out of central Phoenix, uh, there was a police shooting that sent a man to the hospital where he later died. It happened in a neighborhood on 20th Avenue near Buckeye Road. Phoenix police spokesperson said just before 9 p.m., officers were called to a domestic dispute between a man and a woman. As the two officers were investigating the situation, they attempted to detain the man, identified as 26-year-old Juan Reynoso, but he pulled away and started running. As the officers chased after Reynoso, he stopped and armed himself with a gun. He stopped and armed himself with a gun. Uh, what do they mean, armed himself? Or they, they mean he like pulled it out of his waistband, or did he stop and get it out of a trash can? I, I don't know. I sometimes I read into these things as literal, <clears throat> but um, the two officers repeatedly told him to drop the gun, and they eventually shot him. Reynoso was taken to a nearby hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries. Now, during the investigation of the shooting, investigators learned that the gun Reynoso had was fake. We're told that no officers were hurt and the domestic dispute and officer-involved shooting are still under investigation. It's the 35th officer-involved shooting in the Valley so far this year and the 46th in Arizona overall. 46 police officer-involved shootings in Arizona by it's July now. 35th officer-involved shooting in the Valley in Phoenix. Stay out of Phoenix, man, because the cops see you doing something wrong, you might get shot. Now, if there's 46 so far, then we're looking at probably close to 90 officer-involved shootings for the year by New Year's Eve. That's just based on, you know, statistics, <clears throat> what we can guess. Approximately, right? Approximation. 46 officer-involved shootings in Arizona, 35 in Phoenix. That means that there were only 11 officer-involved shootings outside of the Valley, Phoenix. What the hell's going on in Phoenix? 